Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look and creating a overpowered int and faith build. Now int and faith is kind of special because you can either go with a lot of investment and have very high damage or you can go a more reasonable approach and have mediocre damage but you can go you can be much more diversified. So I took the high damage approach and so this is going to be optimizing towards the Prince of Death staff and the Golden Order Seal. If you wanted to go for a lower damage one but still had more diversity, you could go with the Glenmere Flintstone staff and the Golden Order Seal because those actually have different soft caps compared to the Prince of Death staff. The good thing about any End and Faith build is because you get so much diversity with your spells and you also get spells that no one really uses, such as the Ancient Death Rancor or Glenmere's Fury. The main drawback then to Int and Faith is it is very stat intensive. You do need a lot of mind, a lot of intelligence, and a lot of faith if you're going for optimal damage. Otherwise, for diversity, you would go for 45 Int, 45 Faith, because that's a soft cap for the Golden Order Seal and the Glimmer Glintstone Staff. But for pure damage, the Prince of Death Staff will scale to 60 is its first soft cap, and 80 is its second soft cap, and it really picks up after 60, going towards 80, so it is worth going as far as you can towards 80. But you are very stat deprived. For the bread and butter of your sorcery or your incantations, you have Magma Shot for 45-45 Glimmer Staff, Discus of Light for Golden Order Seal and Ancient Death Rancor for the Prince of Death Staff. And together they make a pretty good combination. Discus of Light is okay. It has good damage, but it doesn't seem to stay that often at the target that you want because it'll hit the target once and then stay at its max distance for a couple seconds and then come back, hitting the target twice. But at least for bosses, I found that it would only hit and come back. It wouldn't really stay in the boss to deal that tick damage very often. For the Ancient Death Rancor, obviously it does magic damage. It's a very spammable spell. And really, that's one of the only reasons you would need to make an Instant Faith build. Now, for my optimal build, of course we have 6 Devigor. We have 26 Mine, boosted to 31 with Marika's Source Seal. Then we have 51 Intelligence, boosted to 69 with the Intelligence Non Crystal tier, the Queen's Crescent Crown, and Merica Source Seal. And then for Faith, we have 54 boosted to 69. And for the spells, it's whatever you want. You are going to have very good damage with any Int or any Faith spells. And you can also use the hybrid spells, Int and Faith, but obviously something like Comet. Ancient Death Rancor, Carrion Slicer, Catch Flame, Lightning Strike, Hone Bolt, Ancient Dragon, Lightning Strike, stuff like that. That's always going to be good. For the armor, we have the Queen's Crescent Crown, the Fingerprint Armor Altered, Gold Bracelets, and Tree Sentinel's Greaves. That's going to boost our intelligence by 3, as well as give us 51 poise, which is the first PvE breakpoint. For the Talismans, we have Fox Canvas Talisman, the Graven Mass Talisman, the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, and Mary's Source Seal. Now because even though we're at 150, we are very stretched for stats, we're going to use Mary's Source Seal to boost our stats further, as well as Fox Canvas and Graven Mass to boost our sorcery and incantation damage directly. And then we also have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to offset the Source Seal damage negation penalty as well as just boosting our damage negation further. And for the crystal tiers, like I said, we have the Faith Not Crystal tier and the Intelligence Not Crystal tier to really boost our Int and Faith even further. And for the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune to boost our HP, FP, and Stamina.